Good morning, everybody. I'm, uh, I was running, I was running a little late this morning because I'm, we're visiting John Luke in Nashville, and I couldn't find the right place to set up where I could get Wi-Fi, so I had to come outside and then do uh, do a connect with my my phone. So, um, good morning. Uh, in our Purpose Driven Life study, we're at day six, and this one, I like this one, it's just a good reminder, life is a temporary assignment, so this is day six, and the opening scripture says, um, it's, a, it's a quote from the, from the New Living Translation, it says, Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be, remind me that my days are numbered, and that my life is fleeting, is fleeing away. And we talk a lot about um, in James where it says our life is like a vapor or a mist. And even though we live a long time, maybe um, typically 78 years, something like that, but that's just so small when you think of eternity. When you think of when you're six and someone tells you you meet your grandma or great grandma who's 90 something, it seems like the oldest person or oldest thing you've ever seen. But when you're start the longer you live the more you realize our life is so short we have this little window of time to serve our great God and um, it's just so important that we keep that in mind so the the first the, this is part of three things the first thing was life on earth is a test the second thing is life on earth is a trust like a stewardship given to us and the third thing is that life on earth is a temporary assignment. So we're here for this short little window of time in our lives, and we have to make the most of it, and we have to um, do that. I, I like this. With all the fascinating attractions, mesmerizing media, and enjoyable experience available today, it's easy to forget that the pr pursuit of happiness is not what this life is about. In order to keep us from becoming too attached to earth, God allows us to feel a significant amount of discontent and dissatisfaction in life. Longings that will never be fulfilled on this side of eternity. We're not completely happy here because we're not supposed to be. And so that's a good reminder to us that um, earth is not our final home. We were created for something better. That's a, a wonderful thing for us to keep in, in our minds. And you think about um, in Hebrews chapter 11 how all these faithful people, followers of God, are listed, so many listed, um, Abraham, Samson, um, Sarah, uh, Rachel. There's many people that are mentioned in this hall of fame, this list. And it says that they, once they learned about God and they learned about this longing, longing for their eternal home. And in one of... Uh, um, it, it's just a thought that we have to, to keep at, in front of us every day. It's so helpful to know that I'm not home yet. This is not my home. And so that we can serve God boldly and fearlessly, knowing that the best is yet to come. Here's a statement that I think is really good at the end of this chapter. You will not be in heaven two seconds before you cry out, Why did I place so much importance on things that were so temporary and I also like this statement at death you won't leave home you'll go home so just good reminders to us today the Bible says that in Ecclesiastes that God has written eternity in our hearts and so that's good to know that we were made for eternity and that this little life is a temporary assignment and the, 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 the good thing is is that we serve God right now while we can and we keep our eye on eternity because ultimately that's where we're going to be with God. So I don't know what you're going through right now, but my friend, hang in there. Whatever's going on in your life, hang in there. Keep in mind, if you're going through a difficult time um, or if you um, lost your job or if you are in a struggle in a relationship or maybe you're just weary, weary of life, just you just hang in there this is a temporary assignment keep your eyes on the Lord Jesus and eventually he is going to in his own time he's going to take you into his loving arms and carry you into his perfect 
presence because this is a temporary setting. The Bible says that we're just pilgrims here. We're just passing through. And our home is better than anything you've ever experienced here, our eternal home. So keep your eyes upon the Lord Jesus. God bless you and have a great day.